Lovers, welcome back. I have a review for you today of the new Marc Jacobs Highliners. These are the new matte highliners and I got two colors that were sent to me by Influencer. I am not required to um, film a review or anything like that. In fact, I've already done all of the social media posts and things like that that I'm required to do, but I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts and opinions of these. So I got two different colors. I got brownie and I got earthquake. Brownie is the lighter of the two and earthquake is the darker one. Of course, they sent me brown ones, which don't wear brown all that often. But so here is Brownie and here is Earthquake. They do have the, the self sharpening, you know, you just, you just twist it up. So that's great. The only thing I don't like about it is that the tip kind of stays dull. Um, I, I don't, it just says to recap tightly. It doesn't say anything. I've kind of pulled on the end. Um, there's not really a sharpener anywhere, so mm, that's kind of a something that I don't like about the product is that there's not really a way to sharpen it. There's not really a way to get that like nice tight line. Um, I did accidentally this morning when I was using this again get some on my contact because it was a little too fat of a tip. So I've mostly used Earthquake. I have used Brownie, but. Um, Earthquake is the one that I have used the most often and is the one that I have on right now or I should say had on. These are very very creamy. They go on tremendously smooth. They feel very very nice with the application. There's no tugging on your eyes. You can see there is a lot of pigment to them in a swatch. However, I would not purchase these. For one thing, they are quite pricey and they're an eyeliner. For two, the lasting power on these is almost non-existent. I've tried both of these colors. I've had the exact same experience with both. I've put them on my tight line. I've put them on my water line. I've put them on my upper lash line. I've put them on my lower lash line. And the only place I had any real success with these is on my upper lash line. So first let's talk tight line and waterline. Um, I did, let me zoom in and I'll show you. This is what is left. I did put this product on my tight line and my waterline today and it lasts for about an hour to an hour and a half. If that, that's about the point where I checked was about an hour to an hour and a half every single day. I probably should have checked even earlier than that, but by an hour to an hour and a half, the product was basically just about gone, except for in the very, very corners of my eyes. On my lower lash line, um, applying right in, you know, that, that lash line where you would normally put an eyeliner product. It did last for quite a bit longer. I would say that it lasted for probably four to six hours depending on the day um, and the humidity. These do go away a lot faster when it's very humid outside versus when it's dry, but it did move on me. It did not stay in place, um, especially in the outer corner. I had a lot of movement with this. Now my upper lash line, which I usually do not use this type of eyeliner on my upper lash line, I usually use a liquid, but I did test these out on my upper lash line just to see how they would do. And um, it did last really for, I'll say six to eight hours on my upper lash line. I didn't experience a lot of movement from the upper lash line, but I usually don't with my eyes. I didn't find that it, it went up into the creases or anything, which is a problem that I have had on my upper lash line with some very, very creamy eyeliners. But, you know, just overall for the price that these are and for the longevity that they have, I just don't think that they're worth it. And, and I'm sorry to bash an expensive product like this, but, you know, if I'm going to pay this much for an eyeliner, I want to have to like scrape that sucker off at the end of the day. Um, 
I've used a lot of drugstore eyeliners that work a lot better than this. Um, the L'Oreal um, Silk Is Me eyeliners last longer than these do. I still have the same issue with movement on that lower lash line, but they do have a much longer lasting power. Um, the uh, Fiona Styles pencil lasts a lot longer than this does and is a much lower price. So there are a lot of other options out there if you're looking for something that is very creamy like this, not a pencil that you have to sharpen, that's going to last on your eyes a whole lot longer than these. So I would say that these are a pass. Sorry, Marc Jacobs. But I just wanna be honest with you guys about how I feel about it. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have about this product. If there's any products that you specifically would like to see me review, leave a comment down below too, and I will try to get my hands on that. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.